This week in Michigan football history. Good afternoon to the Maize and Blue faithful out there. Michigan is very proud of our long affiliation with the Big Ten Conference. We've seen many changes, including the most recent additions, namely Rutgers, and today's opponent, Maryland. In 1896, Michigan became a founding member of the league, then called the Western Conference. The decade that followed saw a rapid rise in the popularity of football. For fans, Saturdays were met with a frenzy, and the small Midwest stadiums were overloaded with folks trying to get a first-hand glimpse of these gridiron heroes and coaching superstars. While this was fun for many, it also created a problem. The game started to take attention away from the primary purpose of these colleges, namely to educate students. And as the Saturdays rolled on and the fervor around football exploded and the ticket money rolled in, the power of the athletic departments around the conference grew. This irked faculty and the academic elite at the Big Ten schools, and they decided to do something about it. The administrators proposed tough rules to restrict the sport, including limiting the schedule to a mere five games, limiting player eligibility, and taking control of the ticket money. And one rule change was aimed directly at Michigan and head coach Fielding H. Yost. They wanted to outlaw the existence of professional coaches like Yost, who was not on the U of M faculty. Michigan's academic elite actually supported these measures, but the athletic department viewed them as a punishment. They said no way, and the Wolverines left the Big Ten behind and became an independent for nearly a decade. While we avoided all these restrictions, going it alone was tough, especially scheduling and traveling to find opponents in all of our sports. So in the end, we decided to return, and it was on this day, November 20th, 1917, that Michigan was welcomed with open arms to rejoin the conference. And by doing so, we made it an even 10 teams, giving the Western Conference a new nickname, the Big Ten. It did not take Yost long to get back to his winning ways, as in 1918, in the midst of a global pandemic, Michigan ran the table and claimed Yost fifth national championship go blue beat the turps and for more check out mvictors.com and wtka.com for the key bank countdown to kick off this is greg dooley